So the next thing we're going to look at are loops. And why do we need loops? Well, let's say we want to execute some code multiple times. We could copy and paste it. And let's say, you know, you're sending email. It's a mail, wait one month, send mail, wait one month, send mail, wait one month. And this would work. In fact, um, we can demonstrate that. And we'll create a file and I'll call it why, why loops demo. And so let's say print, and we just say send mail. And let's say we want to do this, you know, five times. Well, we could do that. And probably, you know, five or less times, it's not that big a deal. It would work. But let's say we want to do this a hundred times. Well, you know, that starts um, becoming kind of problematic. Or, you know, well, let's say we wanted to, you know, we want to do it. We want to keep sending mail until the user said, uh, no, we don't want to do this um, uh, anymore. We could say if we could say, um, you know, And then we could say if answer equals yes, we'll send the mail. And um, double equals, of course. And then we could nest in another another iteration of this. We could put in well. Okay, let's do this again. And then we could nest in another one. But, you know, and this would work for up to, you know, three iterations. And, you know, that would, that would work okay for a few iterations, but this would be very cumbersome to write over and over again. If we want to do this up to a hundred times, this would be very painful code uh, to write. So we have some constructs in programming that allows us to do these two kinds of loops. One where we are executing until a condition is met and another one where we'll, we'll execute a, a specified number of times. Uh, so, we can do better than this, and that's what we're going to look at next.